G'day guys, Rolfus here, bringing you a very short video, just an update on the game, my channel, and I'm going to open the Super Magical Chess, I was bought in the Jungle Arena pack value deal, which is pretty good value. Just go straight into the uh, Magical Chest opening, Goblins, Bombers, 150 <laughs> Bombers, awesome. Ice Spirits, of course I get the Ice Spirits, I get Ice Spirits, especially now they're being nerfed. Six Clones, hoping for the Graveyard, that will give me a um, level 3 Graveyard. Dark Goblins, that's pretty cool. Almost up to level uh, 8 there. No, but which? Alright, come on. So, she should give us a legendary, and it's going to be... The Log Level 2! Oh my god, that's not too bad. I'm not too unhappy with that. Would have liked the um, Graveyard, like I said, but Log at Level 2 is pretty cool. It's getting a bit of a nerf, but we'll go through that in just a moment. Here we are in News Royal. As you can see, they'll be active on the 23rd, which I think is a Wednesday for Australia. So, it's going to just blow me on about their normal changes, that sort of stuff. Elite Barbarian's getting a nerf, only a slight one. I think everyone agrees they definitely need a nerf. Really good to see they're finally doing something about them. They're a good unit, they definitely need to be in the game. They're a, a unit that the game needed, just a little bit too powerful, and this will make them a bit more fun. A bit more, a bit more bearable, like... They're a good way of um, punishing someone, or just having the threat there. If they try to put down a tank and too many units behind it, in one go, you can just put down the Elite Barbs in the other lane, push it and smash a tower. Really punishes people that, but they just got a little bit too powerful. But hopefully that should fix them and they'll be more fair and not quite so widespread. Zap damage minus 6%. A lot of people aren't liking this um, change mainly because it won't kill goblins and goblins on the barrel won't hit. I think it's good. I think it needs to be changed. It's been around for too long, too long in the meta. And it's a brilliant spell for two cost. It should still be a good spell but it won't be quite as good. You might see some different gameplays coming from it. Let's try Wiz getting extra hit points. And that's going to stop him getting killed by a fireball in one hit in tournament games, which is really needed because he was pretty useless because of that. Also, a little bit less damage because you still uh, make it in line with Zap, so it does the same effect as Zap's spell. Mega Minion damage decrease with a hit speed decrease too, which, again, it needs to be done because he's just in every deck. He's I gotta bring us on to the Archers, uh, just a slight hit point decrease, which I think is necessary. Archers are such a good unit, really widespread, really tough. And if they get onto your tower, they can do a lot of damage, and this should hopefully make it a bit more fair. The log, minus 4 damage as well, which I'm quite surprised by the log being um, nerfed. But I think it's just to sort of bring it into line with some other cards as well, so wait and see how that goes. Also, knockback effect reduced, which is pretty good because stuff like the golem gets knocked back, and it just takes too long for it to recover. And now onto the next two units which are going to be nerfed. Ice Spirit, Ice Golem, they're just such a good combination, like... And such a good uh, it looks a trade unit because Ice Golem can kill a Skarmy, Ice Spirit can kill a Skarmy. It's so good. Also, if you drop an Ice Golem underneath some minion hordes, you can quite easily kill them with a Ice Golem and a Zap. So it's good to see they're getting nerfed because they're in every deck, just like Mega Minion and Elite Barbarians. So it's good they're gonna be doing some slight nerfs to the Vendor card. And then we move on to the last unit, the wizard. Just a slight range increase there. I don't think it's gonna make too much difference to the meta. I don't think you can see the wizard much anymore still because he's, he's a bit too costly, a bit too slow. But we haven't seen that. Just going to move on to a few channel updates now, very briefly. Just to run the competition, that should be run and won by tomorrow. The win will be notified very soon. I'll also be streaming Clash Roll every Sunday and most Fridays we do Clash Roll. That'll be uh, Sunday and Friday nights Australian time. That's GMT plus 11 if you want to know. And every Tuesday afternoon I'll be doing some Roblox. I'm not too sure about the other times I'll be, if I'll be able to stream or not. Sort of hard to work around the family and work life sort of stuff. But I'll be doing some more regular videos. I'll be doing my um, the best of Clash Royal TV. I'll be doing some Hearthstone. And hopefully one more video per week to keep you guys entertained. But thank you for watching a very short video like I said. And I'll see you guys very soon.